Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Look at these popsicles, it's too hot outside. I can't breathe. It's getting too hot and humid. <laughs> Do you guys see that black smoke? Well, that was a fire. There were there was actually two fires that day. <laughs> Summer days. Ew, my hair. <laughs> So this was at my friend Elias going away, going home party. He's going back to Colombia for good. I mean, he's thinking about coming back to the city to live out here. Um, if everything works out with him coming, like studying over here and getting his masters. Um, but yeah, I hope and pray that he does come back because he, yeah, he's that kind of person that you want to be friends forever. Um, but yeah, long story short, I didn't want to be his friend in the beginning because I was like skeptical. I was like, hmm, who is this guy and why does he want to be my friend? But he continued to um, pursue me as a friend and here we are a couple months later, almost a year later, and I'm over here trying not to cry because he's leaving. Have you tried the Mexican uh, agua you want me to? They sound good. So here we were trying to figure out if we should continue playing Uno or change to playing a different game. And also, we were drinking agua de panela that Elias made from Colombia. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. He said, no, you're a boy. My friend. Oh, look at him. Okay. As you can tell, Ariel is hilarious. I love this girl. She's so freaking funny. Um, she's a good time. She's the the one that brings a party all the time because she her that's her her personality. Um, yeah, she's we're always cracking up when she's around. Elias dedicated this song to all of us, his friends. Oh, it's such a sweet song. Bro, the disrespect. Ariel kept talking <laughs> during the song. Dude, even during the movie, like when we're all watching movies together, she talks throughout the whole movie. I'm like, you're freaking ghetto. Like, chill. <laughs> but this is all jokes. We joke around a lot. So she, d she won't get offended. I hope not. So after this, he definitely translated to those who don't speak um, Spanish that day. So yeah.
I'm good. And the Ezra May didn't want to dance. <laughs> so who dances this song still at their family parties because i think i do uh, there's so many other songs that we dance in groups oh my gosh look at elias and ariel get it get it <laughs> We dance this in our family parties, but not it's a different version. Okay, so I was gonna dance, but I ended up not dancing because, yeah, I was not feeling it that day. <laughs> I really wasn't. Um, yeah, there was other stuff that was going on. Um, that I was a little like, yeah, I was like, I want to go home low-key at the end. Okay, Ariel, this whole dancing thing turned into a workout. Period, queen. Period. I know you're watching. <laughs> All right, go. I'm recording. Go faster. The fastest I can pass is the pass. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. That was. It's so hot, right, Sola? Yeah, it's so hot. Here with Elias. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. <laughs> That's not a floor. <laughs> you want a picture? Yeah. yeah. Let's hang out with me. Yeah. No, we have Sunday and Mohan on Monday. Oh, yeah, Monday. Maybe Monday. Umpa Lumpa. Why are you going down like that? That's how Umpa Lumpa. Okay, primera vez, Cristina. Primera vez. ¿Cuál es el nombre, Cristina? No sé. Oh, Estás despedida como guía. Black Pepper. Black Pepper? Right there. Is it the India? Bueno, vamos a coger una hojita que se me acabó el Black Pepper en la casa. Oh, es un oraje. Oh, no. Miss Rina no puede venir acá. ¿Por qué? <laughs> Son naranjas. Oh, look, please leave the fruit for all to see. Wow, this is so pretty. Okay, okay Hans. Hans. From the Philippines. <laughs> Show
We're in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Bye, the day. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Now we're in Jamaica. Jamaica. And in Español, Jamaica? Jamaica. It's funny how That's I funny. always pronounce words. <laughs> wow. I wish I lived here. <laughs> I would be so peaceful. Jasmine. So at peace. Oh, that's my baby sister's name. Jasmine. Two, right? They have a part two? Yeah. Oh. But I didn't. Is that a like a temple? Good morning guys, it's another day. I am here washing my face as you can see. I'm using this Naturium um, for my acne. I put this every morning as I go about my day. So it helps definitely to not break out as much out here in the city. Um, sometimes I'm like, man, I wish my apartment was smaller, but no, I shouldn't, I'm not complaining. I'm trying to reach up there so I can clean these lights too and we want to replace some of these blinds because some of these blinds are um, old and we want to we want to keep it nice as, as long as we're here because we're not planning to move anytime soon so yeah we really like where we're at yeah so come along with me as I clean this apartment. Give this uh, voice over. So this is um, my daily routine. Well, it's gonna be my daily routine again. Taking my vitamins every day and drinking um, a little less than half a cup of orange juice mixed with um, coconut water. All right, so really quick before I start cleaning, um, my gosh, I have, I had the most first two days of my period. It's so painful, TMI, for the guys watching. But yeah, if you ladies know, if you ladies know what I'm talking about, cramps. Um, I haven't really skipped breakfast. And I really don't get painful periods. Um, it's it's honestly weird or rare for me to get 
cramps, like, yeah, it's, it's so weird. Um, but I think I know because I stopped being consistent with taking my vitamins every day. I just wanted to let you ladies know that if you experience painful periods, try taking supplements, um, whatever, vitamins, um, try taking, um, Try the orange juice and coconut water. Uh, do a half cup of it or less than half cup. Um, yeah, try it. It might it might help your period. <laughs> period. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, bye. All right, so let's start cleaning. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I love to clean. I feel like it's one of my hobbies, honestly. I really like doing this. Uh okay, update. I'm already sweaty. As you can tell, my face is getting oily. But I'm trying to figure out if this is nice here. So let me show you guys. Let me, let me pause this music because I don't want to get copyrighted. This will look cute here. I don't know if to buy a new spoon holder because honestly, we don't need all this and I don't like my place to look cluttery and forks and knives um, and this thing. So yeah. So yeah, I, we're, I'm trying to like slowly change things up, you know, with the decoration. Um, for my place to look, you know, more at home. I mean, not that it doesn't, because obviously it does feel like home. Um, but I just want it to be like, I want it to look clean. Ew, what is this? I want it to look, you know, neat. Um, and I try to keep it as clean as possible. It's just the two of us living here, obviously. But yeah, I feel like... I like to change things up a little bit. Change is good for you. Good. So as I was saying, I this is one of my hobbies, to be honest. Um, I don't know, maybe it's my OCD, but to me, it's very therapeutic to just clean. It, it brings me peace of mind. Um, I don't know, I feel better. Like I'm able to relax at home better and just um, not feel stressed. Um, but yeah, it's much needed for me. Um, a good deep clean at least once a month. Um, but I actually, I clean as I go. I really do. I, I don't like leaving my stove dirty as I'm cooking throughout the week. I like to clean it every three days or so. Um, I'm trying not to be so like crazy about it because I just, I don't know. I it gives me peace of mind. Um, yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you're like me, or if you you want to be like me. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but um, in all seriousness, I really love doing this, guys. Um, but yeah, hire me if you wanna hire me to clean your apartment or house. I'm here. Just leave a comment down below. <laughs> Only family and friends, or if you know. If you're referred by a family or friend, obviously, because I ain't going to no stranger's house. That's on period. Yeah, I finally cleaned my microwave. It wasn't uh, clean for the past few months, honestly, because I was like, I would forget or I was too lazy to get up uh, up there and go on the chair. <laughs> I need a stepping stool and a ladder or something because high ceiling apartments. Um, yeah, that's another another thing about this beautiful apartment of mine. I I'm short, first of all, but I also um, it's the ceiling is too high that I, I need a ladder for sure a ladder, not a stepping stool. So I can reach up there in the 
cabinet and stuff. I want to dust off a lot of the the stuff out here um, that hasn't been dusted off since you know the previous tenant was living here. And yeah, and get a lot of the grease off of these cabinets because I remember we came here and looked at the apartment and it, she had them all greasy. And luckily we cleaned a little bit, but yeah, um, just getting these cabinets organized as well. I threw a lot of the expired stuff. I was surprised how much, how many things we had expired and I had to throw it out. Um, yeah sadly i also got rid of a lot of my not a lot a few dishes um because i'm planning to get brand new ones from my favorite store target i mean who who's what girl doesn't love target right um yeah i'm excited to get my new dishes from target they're glassware and yeah i'm excited i will keep you guys um I will put up a video on that, organizing and decorating my apartment, um, because we're and yeah, here is my dinner table in my kitchen, just getting it organized. Um, I washed all the silverware because it's kind of gross to say we had it out in a spoon holder thingy and some of it wasn't washed for a couple of months which is gross and I was like I need to wash this and so I did but um, yeah hope you enjoyed this video of me cleaning. Okay, I also was looking forward to cleaning this bathroom, um, deep clean it. I use this Clorox product, liquid product, um, that my roommate bought and I never really, I never used it to clean the bathtub, which I should have because it makes a huge difference. But yes, this stuff cleaned my bathtub really well. I really liked it. And I was a happy girl. Here I'm, I took a little dance break to bachata. <laughs> um, but yeah, I decided also to sweep my apartment and mop. Guys, this, this took, it felt like forever. I, I'm telling you, when I, like, when I clean, when I deep clean, I like to deep clean. Um, and dust off things so like I said before this apartment is pretty big and it took me a long time to finish it um, I took breaks of course because I w needed to um, and I deserved it period <laughs> but yeah it's hard work it's hard work um, shout out to all the men and women who do this for a living and I decided to show you guys my after, what it looks after I finished, um, because I, <laughs> I realized that I always um, show you guys the process and like the before, um, but I never show you guys the after, what it looks like after I'm done cleaning um, and organizing. So here you go. I hope you enjoy this video. Wow, this feels really good to have a clean place, um, especially because I'm going to be on vacation 
Um, so it's gonna be nice to come back to a nice clean apartment and yeah and then and it smells good too um but yeah thank you so much for watching my video and i hope you like comments and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and show some love all right peace